how to skeleton sub mesh renderer. I'm going to use my foot soldier as an example again and spawn him into the, into the world. Uh, and I have a weapon slot near his hand, uh, but he doesn't have any weapon graphics. And rather than attaching uh, an attachment or bringing something from a region, uh, I'm going to show using skeleton sub mesh renderer to take a regular Unity sprite that is not part of his fine skeleton and inject it into the mesh the way I want instead of making it ambiguous like this. Uh, so normally you can control the draw order of things in Unity by changing the order and layer and pushing that forward and backward as well as changing the sorting layer itself. Uh, the higher you set it, the further to the front it draws. In the case of the foot soldier, I actually have a sprite, uh, excuse me, an attachment called hand that draws a hand above the arm. So I'm going to go into the advanced tab for skeleton animation and add one sub mesh separator and choose hand. What this means is that I want to be able to inject something in the sorting order between what comes above hand and everything from hand forward. So I want hand to draw on top of the thing that I'm going to inject, in this case the sword, and I want arm and the weapon slot to draw behind it. Uh, so now I'm going to add my skeleton utility and choose spawn... Uh, excuse me, first I'm going to hit reload so it takes the changes from um, submesh separator and I'm going to choose Spawn Submeshes. And now underneath the Foot Soldier hierarchy I should have two submeshes, Submesh 0 and Submesh 1. If you move these around you can see exactly what components are there. And like I said, the hand component is there and then the arm and the, uh, the weapon slot which doesn't have anything being drawn in it is there as well. So now that I have these two submeshes generated, I can either push their order and layer forward and backward, and it, it defaults to increments of 10 starting at 0. Uh, but the idea is that I can now take this weapon and I can set its order and layer to between the two. So we know we're at 0 and 10, so I can set order and layer to 5, and now I've got uh, the sword drawing between those layers, even though it's not part of the spine skeleton. Uh, so I'm actually going to line this up with the hand a little bit. And in the case of weapons and attachment, or things that you would usually use an attachment for, uh, you can use skeleton utility again to choose uh, spawn hierarchy and spawn the entire follow hierarchy, drill down and find the, uh, the slot or the part you wanted to attach it to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to attach it to the weapon slot. However, you could attach it to the arm slot in this case because the weapon's not actually drawing anything. But this looks more organized. I'm going to reset its rotation and then fix its position a little bit more. So that should line it up as though it were an actual attachment. And turn on an animation. Why not? Cool. All working. Uh, and when you stop playback, the submeshes will correctly update themselves now. See ya.